Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Jeff Otter with Hewlett Packard Enterprise and I'm going to talk today about redfish. So why redfish? What is it? Redfish is a industry standard protocol and, uh, and specification for performing systems management actions uh, using a RESTful uh, methodology. Uh, this is a uh, restful interfaces are very common. I shouldn't have to explain that to anyone anymore. Uh, in, and, uh, and just as most folks do with, uh, with restful interfaces, uh, we have formatted, uh, uh, Redfish using the, uh, JSON, uh, data format, uh, and transport the, uh, payloads over HTTPS. Uh, this makes, uh, Redfish, uh, and systems management capabilities uh, look and act just like uh, practically everything else on the uh, on the network these days. Uh, so you don't have to spend time learning new protocols just for performing systems management tasks. Uh, that makes it uh, the the JSON protocol. Excuse me, the JSON format uh, makes it easy for that data to be consumed by applications, uh, by web-based GUIs, by scripts, and even simple browser plugins. Uh, the data itself uh, in Redfish is presented in a very uh, readable fashion, uh, but the formats uh, and the data structures are all backed by schema, uh, which means that you can build complicated applications that can uh, consume the schema uh, and perform uh, lots of uh, transformations. Uh, using the annotations uh, contained in those schema files. Uh, the first release of Redfish, which, is, uh, which was back in August of 2015, uh, focused mostly on uh, server and systems management. Uh, it was targeted initially as a, uh, as a more secure and multi-node capable of a replacement for the IPMI over LAN protocol, which has uh, been commonly in use for over, over a decade. Uh, so Redfish started with uh, server management uh, and has now been extended over the past year uh, to include other types of devices, uh, including PCI switches, uh, uh, lots of uh, storage, uh, both local and now network attached, uh, you know, a, a richer set of uh, inventory within systems, uh, including memory uh, and the new NVDIMs, which, as, which are becoming very popular. Uh, the, uh, the forum is now also working on multifunction adapters uh, and uh, even tackling uh, more complicated uh, concepts like system composability. And this first release was intended to meet the needs of the Open Compute Project's remote machine management specification. But over time, we're expanding the scope of Redfish to fit uh, more users uh, and more use cases. And uh, to that end, we're working with a number of other partner organizations, uh, including SNEA and the Green Grid and, and the Open Compute Project, uh, to, to further enrich the data model uh, and expand its scope. So the folks working on Redfish is a is a is really a who's who of uh, of systems management and data center infrastructure products, uh, as you can see on the slide. Uh, the, the the long list here, I believe, of uh, up to about 27 uh, companies that are directly related. Uh, and you know, even if your even if your company is not uh, listed here, we absolutely are looking for uh, for feedback from both end users and from companies. And we'll I'll, I'll show you where you can provide that feedback here at the end of this at the end of this presentation. Uh, and as I said, we also have an alliance with industry partners like, uh, like the Open Compute Project, uh, the UEFI Forum, uh, SNEA, and uh, TGG, or the Green Grid. So why does uh, Redfish use the, the RESTful uh, methodology in HTTP and JSON? Well, uh, the, uh, the REST architecture uh, is becoming very common and very well known for, uh, for performing actions over networks. Uh, it has you know, very quickly replaced uh, what was uh, either the remote, you know, remote procedure call or SOAP-based interfaces. Uh, obviously, HTTPS, you know, it's the web protocol. It's secure. It's well understood. Uh, it, it fits uh, easily into existing uh, network infrastructures and, and uh, back-end services and so forth. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, what we're trying to do is not invent anything new uh, where there are popular and robust solutions available. Uh, this had uh, some, some very interesting side effects for us in Redfish, and that is uh, that, you know, it, it, it is a modern interface. Uh, it, it uses all of these modern protocols. Uh, it also means that the tool chains are, ra are readily available for, uh, for both producing uh, and consuming uh, the data that, that that is involved in the Redfish standard. Uh, 
so you know it's that combination uh, that has made uh, made it very easy for uh, folks to to come up to speed both on the uh, Redfish implementation side and also uh, on the uh, client software side. Uh, so just as a as a quick example, you know how simple is it to use uh, a RESTful interface? You know in the, using the JSON data format. So here's a here's some example Python code, uh, and you know Python being a you know a modern language that uh, that has uh, just a, a rich set of built-in functions and libraries. Uh, you know we we expect that folks can get up and running uh, with Redfish in a matter of a, you know, a few minutes or a few hours if you uh, if you're really new to this. So you know here's some example code you know in Python uh, that uh, that would retrieve a serial number uh, from a server uh, you know, from a Redfish server. So this is just three lines of code it, it using the built-in libraries uh, that, that come standard in a Python distribution uh, you know opens a URL takes that raw data decodes the JSON uh, payload and uh, dumps it into a dictionary the last line is a print statement that says give me the uh, serial number of the system and this is really what we output on the screen uh, so this this breezes through the authentication process uh, but it, it shows that that you know once you have a connection set up uh, you know uh, taking data out of the out of a redfish service and and doing something interesting with it you know is is literally a few lines of code away so like I said, the Redfish version one that was released in August of 2015, the feature set here was intended to uh, replicate and replace the IPMI over LAN uh, usage. Uh, and so you'll see that here in this list of features, uh, you know, where we do uh, some basic inventory of systems, uh, get the uh, the I/O infrastructure, so uh, so critical pieces like the MAC address of the system, uh, you know, some simple hard drive uh, fault reporting, uh, and so forth. Uh, common actions that uh, that users, especially in scale out environments, would perform, like uh, you know, reboot the server or perform a power cycle, change the boot order, uh, yeah, those are all a part of the initial uh, rollout. Uh, there are other you know, infrastructure components here and some of the housekeeping things that you need to keep a, uh, a remote management system up and running. Those are all included. Um, and, and obviously, we're working on, on more. Uh, if you'll uh, watch some of the other videos that will be forthcoming in this series, uh, we'll get into a lot of the individual uh, uh, subsystems and all the data that's available. All right, well, that's enough for our introduction into why Redfish, and I, I hope you'll take a look at the other videos uh, that the DMTF will be publishing on this YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, the standards uh, and the, uh, the the different tools available for Redfish, here are some links that you can use. Uh, the the primary link that you're going to want to go to is our Redfish developer portal at redfish.dmtf.org. Uh, from there, you'll be able to see sample uh, sample payloads, uh, lots of specifications to download, white papers, uh, links to our uh, Redfish uh, user forum, uh, and uh, also available at the uh, DMTF slash standard slash Redfish uh, are the actual specifications themselves. Uh, and if you are interested in uh, joining the SPMF, uh, the, which is the work group that uh, owns the Redfish specification, uh, we welcome you to, to, to join the DMTF and the work group itself. Uh, and you can find information about the, uh, the SPMF forum at uh, dmtf.org standard slash SPMF. And with that, I appreciate your attention. Thanks for watching.